Well, hello, hello, good evening. Melba, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Um, um, same because in my my cousin has a way. Mm. And tell me, what's the plan for the weekend? What's the plan for the fin de semana? Una prima teacher de... Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Ahí estamos. Okay, okay, well, thank you very much for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, teacher. No problem, no problem. Let's see who else is around, who else is around, who else is around. Uh, uh, uh. Carlos Luis, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm how fine. are you, sir? Fine? No, fine, teacher. Uh, this weekend, this week, I was uh, sick. Oh, really? But, but you're doing better now. Yeah, but today for uh, my day off. Oh, really? But, but no... <laughs> because the Black Friday, I have, <laughs> I was uh, the shopping with oh, my wife. Oh, you went shopping? Yeah, with my wife and yeah, in complacency <laughs> with yeah, yeah. but really tired has been a uh, week very very heavy at the war at the world a lot of work um would you be i hope and um, and i hope press uh after after the class okay well that's cool it's cool <laughs> the fact of being not just able but willing to to rest is cool because sometimes i mean uh, what we do is that we have a little bit of free time and we start doing other stuff but welcome to yeah. the class mister nice having you here i ready to the class tonight sure thank you that's cool that's cool excellent hey berenice how are you Good evening. I would tell you long time no see, but actually it's the first time I'm seeing you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know that expression? Long time no see. Long time no see. Do you know that expression? Oh. It means uh tiempo sin verle. Uh -huh. <laughs> so how are you? I'm fine. Okay, that's cool. How's everything? Tell me, what about your plans for the weekend? What you got? Well, I finally have changed my schedule and I left the last week. I'm going to work at 12 p.m. at 10 p.m. And I go to the, the site. I complicated it. <laughs> Okay, but you're going to get a new chip. Yeah. What's going to be your new chip? Well, um, um, I have a chance in the morning, and I, I don't like but It's 8.30 a.m. at 6.30 p.m. Ooh. Well, 
It's heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's complicated. Yeah, it's heavy. But I mean, uh, you know, I mean, sometimes it's good to change. I mean, yeah. to vary because you get bored. That's the problem. We get bored, like, in the same shift uh, all the time. And I mean, it's also difficult when people is changing, switching shift, like, constantly. That's yeah. terrible. I mean, I know yeah. some people that they are, like, uh, in their companies, they change shift, like, uh, every two weeks, uh, Every, yeah. every fortnight, fortnight. Yeah, that mean uh, the my day off. Me too. I change little change. When's, uh, it, when's gonna be your day off? Now, um, Tuesday and Friday. Okay, and changing the shift. No, oh, that's not... that's the new one. Yeah, uh, and I have uh, Monday what? and Tuesday. Hmm, Thursday and Friday. So you like them better like separated? Yeah, it's, um, <laughs> it's been <laughs> the weekend. <laughs> yeah, you, you feel shorter the time you're working, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I got you, I got you. It feels different, as you said. I mean, if you work one, if you work uh, like two, three days, then resting, then another three, four days, then resting. Yeah, it feels like you can breathe. Yeah, <laughs> it is less. It is less exhausting. Because... Yeah, because in, in the week I have changed and uh, three days and in the morning or three days in the night. Yeah, uh, I don't like. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's exhausting because I mean, uh, the like the sleeping patterns and everything varies, and. And it's pretty exhausting. That's actually the word, because I mean, your body doesn't adapt. Yeah. I mean, because your body knows that right now you should be sleeping, but you are awake. If you are awake, you should be sleeping. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> the life really complicated because I come in my house because I I go to the site. It's coming in my house. Well, eleven, twelve p.m. and the next day I wake up. At six or four, and I go to the shift at seven a.m. It's and that's like, crazy. Like, <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. Well, yeah, I totally get you. I usually work. Well, I don't have day off. I work from Sunday to Sunday. Yeah. There's no day off for me, but I mean, sometimes like uh, tonight I have this class. I end up. I finish everything at around 11 11 p.m and uh, like this this week i have been like up at 5 5 a.m getting ready to go to work and sending some uploading videos <laughs> at 5 a.m in the morning because <laughs> of, of some changes that youtube has done in their protocols man it's been crazy <laughs> yeah um, that's the way it goes. What can we do, right? I mean, that's yeah, the I job. <laughs> but, I need to do this. <laughs> yes, it's not easy. It's not easy, but I mean, what are yeah. we going to do? Hey, nice talking to you. Nice. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Ana Patricia, hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, Tisha. Good evening. Hi, How hi. are you? Very well. Okay. How was your day? In my day, I go to the work. Yeah. Yep. Um, just I... I am in a meeting. Okay. Yeah. I mean, just love. Just that. Simple. Yeah. What time do you usually wake up on Sundays? On Sunday at. Depends. I'm sorry? It depends on what? 
Um, yeah. So one day I wake up at nine, nine a.m. or ten a.m. Nine yeah. or ten a.m. Wow. Yeah. That's so cool. How does it feel? I wonder. Yeah, I mean, that's great. Yeah, because the all day of the week, I I say very exhausted. 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 Really? Well, yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah, I understand you totally. I mean, the week is heavy, and if you have the chance of resting, that's cool, right? I mean, to have some time for yourself, and if you enjoy sleeping, go for it. Yeah, I, I enjoy sleeping. That's cool. So, how many but... hours do you sleep? Do you usually sleep on a regular weekday? In the week, um, I sleep five hours or four. Yeah, that's just a few. Yeah. Five, four hours. Yeah, it's, sometimes it's not enough, right? Yeah. Claro. Es parte de, parte de estudiar y trabajar. Yeah, been there, done that, got the t-shirt to prove it. You know that expression? It means I know the situation because I went through the same situation. Actually, the proper expression goes like this, you know. The proper expression is this. I have been there and I have done that and I got the uh, uh, the t-shirt to prove it that's the that's the expression the the correct expression the complete expression but people but people nowadays just say uh, uh, been there done that nowadays people just say oh been there done that it means eh, ya he vivido esa situación y la comprendo. That's the idea. When you say been there, done that. This yeah. the thing is this. Look, when you say I have been there and I have done that, ya he estado ahí, ya he hecho eso, and I got the teacher to prove it, is because Americans they have the 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 habit that like when they have meetings. Uh, uh annual meetings on the companies or family meetings if the family is too big sometimes they they order for teachers with the slogan of the company of the celebration they are doing so you got the t-shirt you keep it as a souvenir that's why they adapted the expression i have been there and i have done that and i got the t-shirt to prove it but with the pass of time you know, uh, people tend to make expressions shorter, okay? So now you just say, oh, been there, done that. And that's the idea. Yeah, I understand you. I understand you totally. It's it's complex. I mean, but it's part of the job, as you said, right? Sometimes and if we are studying and working, eh, it's hard. It's hard, but I mean, it's... Uh, it's worth it. Actually, it's worth it. Believe me, I mean, uh, I I started my career like that. The first career, the second career, the same way I'm doing it. I mean, when I was starting to be a teacher, I was working all the time. And I was working days, studying nights, and working weekends. I have always worked weekends. And I'm a workaholic. And... Um, and it's hard, but you see the benefit. And it, it feels good. It feels good. I mean, now that, I, that I've been taking the second career, I mean, I'm just missing two semesters. 
just one more year and I finish and it feels good. It's heavy, of course, but it feels good. To be honest with you, I'm planning on starting another one. Yeah, it's a, a process great. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. Hey, Hannah Patricia, nice talking to you. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Oscar, hello, mister. How are you? How are you doing? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm okay, teacher. I um uh, I went to the office in the morning and asked and asking for permission to do my homework. And I have one problem. Oh, really? In the uh, in the part four and number four. Uh, there is uh, some. You are talking uh, about midterm or final exam? No, the the. Uh, sorry, do you say me? You are talking about the final exam or the section four. The section four. Okay, you are talking the about section four. Section four, exercise. Exercise four. Let's see, section four. In section four, you have exercise 16, 16, 17, 18, 19. Uh, 19, I believe this is 19. No, 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 no. It's uh, 12. Exercise 12. No, that's section oh. three. Section four starts in exercise 16. Mm, okay, in the section three. Let me check on. In the lesson lesson twelve. Okay, hold on, hold four. on, hold on. Let me check on something. Okay. This is section four. You see? No, 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 no. Uh... Tarea 12 sería entonces, teacher. Okay, you are talking about section 3. Right? Okay. Uh, you are talking about 12. Right, the yes, following I sentences. In I Is this one? No. Is the part four this say? Say this. Uh... Okay, just let me check. I'm gonna check something because I can see where you are. Where have you advanced? Let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. You're Oscar, right? Yes. Let's see, Oscar, 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 Oscar. Oscar Edgardo Guido, section one complete, section two, section three, section four. You are you are in section four, you are in midterm and final. Okay. In section four, you have done 60%, and the midterm you are missing just one. Let's do something, Oscar. Why don't you stay at the end of the class and we check it out? Um, at the end of the class, we can check it out. Like with okay, the, okay. So don't forget, okay, don't forget, don't disconnect. No, no, no. We'll I'm waiting for you. We'll be I'm waiting for you, teacher. That's cool. So tell me, what's the plan for the weekend? I mean, you don't have to do oh, the plan. No. You are almost done. You are just finished. You just, you are just missing, like two exercises from section four. One part, I guess that's the one, one part of the midterm exam after section two and the final exam. Uh, yes, I I will be I will be do that. Nah, I will do tomorrow. that. I will do that tomorrow. Or, or you can say it like this. Look, I'll be doing that tomorrow. I'll be doing that tomorrow. Okay. okay. It's almost like a like a promise. 
If it's a plan, yes. if it's a plan, you say, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Okay. It's a different type of future. Remember that in English, we have different types of future. Like you say, uh, the future with will is when it's a sudden decision. Okay. Okay. When you decide something suddenly, when you make a, a prediction, but it's very bad. Okay. When you use the present continuous, uh, uh, I'm sorry, when you use the, the be going to, you're talking about a plan. But that's more like a personal plan. Okay. Like I'm going to. Okay. That's a personal plan. You have planned something, you have taken steps, and it depends on you. Okay. Okay. Or okay. in the person okay. you are referring to. Okay. Like I tell you, oh, Berenice is going to change her schedule. I mean, she has done the steps. She has uh, she has talked to her to her supervisor. Uh, I mean, she has fulfilled all the requirements. She's ready. She knows how she's gonna do it. It's personal. Okay. okay. It's different when the plan involves somebody else. You know, uh, Berenice she received a memo today, and they told her, uh, starting next week, you are go, you are changing shift. That's present continuous. When you you express future with present continuous, when I tell you, oh, next week you are changing, you are switching shift. That means that that's a plan, but there is more people involved. It's not like okay. person, it's other people. So in your case, as you were making like a prediction, like I'll do it tomorrow, I'll be doing it tomorrow. That's like a prediction, like a promise. That's cool. So yes. what about Sunday? I'm sure you're going to church on Sunday. Besides that. Uh, no, I... Come on, Oscar, you always go to mass. Yes, uh, today and um, uh, I uh, I going to the mass at the third day because the the, the mass is for the my brother in you. Oh really, brother? In yeah, brother in law. Brother in law. Brother in law because the he died the Saturday. Uh, last Saturday. Okay. Well, well, well. It's okay if you say he died. But, I mean, it sounds better if you say this. It's more polite if you say he passed away. Okay. He the, passed difference, away. the difference is this. It's okay. Like when you, it's like when you say he died, you are saying like uh, something like se murió. When you say he passed away, you are saying falleció. Ah, okay. It's more, it's more polite, you see. Yes, cor it's correct. Yeah, I mean it's uh, it's softer, it's softer actually. Okay, and uh, because this. Uh, because this, uh, I I go I go to the mass every day. Mm. That's why. Also, you can say because of this, but it's more it's more colloquial when you say that's why. That's why. Okay. Instead of saying it's that's because why. of this, you say. That's why, and people understand it perfectly. Okay. Yeah, today we are working um, with modisms. That's cool. Uh, excuse me? That today we are talking, we are using modisms. Estamos usando uno que otro modismo. Okay, excellent. Yeah, no, it's cool, it's cool. It's just, actually, it's, uh, you're going to study them more in more advanced levels. It's part of the game, yeah. but it's not bad to check it out and to, to, to get to know some of them. I mean, Muslims are interesting. Actually, they are interesting. Okay, teacher. Um, well, well, then this is the my uh, this is uh, this is my my plan for the weekend, and maybe the. Uh, Sunday, 
I maybe uh, get a rest. So if, if you have time, you're going to rest on Sunday. Yes. That's yes, cool. yes. I, if I have the the time. Yeah, when I have well, when I have time, I try to rest as much but as possible. My my wife uh, plan all <laughs> all I have to do. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I think they have a and they have a problem seeing you <laughs> resting. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, yeah, I know that. I, I, know I don't that. believe. I don't believe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know what the problem was, but when they see you resting, I mean, they always need to find something for you to do. Because the um, the Sunday in the morning, uh, we go to the the cousin. No, how do you say primo? Cousin. Cousin. Uh, we have to go uh, go to the cousin because he's sick, and and we uh, we have to visit for the 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 meeting the meeting with with him and. Uh, before uh, will be a uh, rest uh, a little because the in the afternoon we go to the mass for the my brother in law okay that's cool excellent excellent well thank you very much and thanks for sharing okay teacher let's see let's see well guys let me get the attendance Aida Eugenia Ramirez Chavez present teacher Almacha Milet Hernández de Vázquez present teacher thank you Ana Leslie Sánchez Grande. Ana Patricia Meléndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Present teacher. Carlos Luis Guzmán Yelamo. Present teacher. Damaris Lisset Guevara Herrera. Present teacher. Elías Alberto Cortés Salas. Evelyn Yajaira Martínez Rivera. Freddy Enrique Vázquez Solórzano. Gabriela Janet Pozo Peña. Present teacher. Gabriela Lisset Hernández Cruz. Present teacher. Juan José, I mean, José Valentín Flores Rodríguez. Juan José Cornejo Urias. María Isabel Rivas Guevara. Present teacher. Marina Leticia Rolín Jiménez. Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Present teacher. Marta Berenice Cervellón Miranda. Present teacher. Marta Estera Chala Díaz. Present teacher. Melba Lorena Martínez Martínez. Miguel Ángel Rodríguez García. Present teacher. Oscar Edgardo Guidos Burgos. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio Chica Samayi. Sally Carolina Morán Present. Cabrera. Thank you, Rafael. Sandra Karina Galvez Galdames. En Saúl Álvarez Pacheco. Ok, guys, let's see. Well, we still got time for the one-on-one -on -one conversations, but uh, before we continue, let me tell you, today we got a little bit of grammar. We're going to explain a little bit of grammar. It's going to be interesting, interesting the, the, the topic. 
We're gonna work with the zero conditional. Conditional sentences are cool. And because Monday we're gonna be talking with time clauses, that's easy. That's an easy topic. And it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. And also conversation. Remember the idea is we having lots of conversation. So Miguel, how are you? How's everything? Hello, teacher. Bye, teacher. Very, very day. A good day? Great, teacher. Great. That's excellent. That's excellent. A great day. That's cool. So tell me, uh, what's the plan for the weekend? What you got for this weekend? Uh, I, I, at the park, the park of my family, uh, the play, the basketball, oh, really? You're and soccer, oh. my, my cousin, cousin. Primo. Primo. with my cousins, with my cousin. Oh, you play basketball? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. yes. Mm. Me encanta. Como es? Me encanta. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it, teacher. I love it. Yeah, I used to play basketball when I was young, back in the days, when you were a joven. A long while ago, I used to play basketball. But... Relax, teacher. Yeah. Relax. Es it's y... good. You practice exercise. Yeah, it's good. It's good. And as you said, it's good to exercise. It's a good activity, and I mean, it helps. Helps a lot. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. Well, thank you, Miguel, and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Ready? Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else is around? Still got a few minutes. Isabel, hello, Isabel. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you doing? Fine. Um, tired. Tired. Really? A heavy day at work? Um, day four. Okay, mm -hmm. a, a heavy day, a full day. Right. And what about the weekend? What's the plan for your weekend? What are you going to do? What, Excuse me, teacher. What are you doing this weekend? What are the activities for the weekend? Okay, for the fin de semana. Um, working. You work Sundays? Working um do you work on Sunday? Yes. Ouch. Saturday um Saturday um, voy a la iglesia por la tarde. Oh really? You go to church? That's good. That's excellent. I mean it's always good to go to church. And Sunday? Um, Sunday. What do you do on Sunday? Um, leave early the working. Oh, really? You work so Saturday you go to church and Sunday you go to work. And uh, yes, uh, mm, luego. Then. Then. Um. Play soccer. Oh, playing soccer. That's cool. So you enjoy your your free time. Do you play in a team? Juega en un equipo? Yes. Oh, that's nice. It's like a tournament. Como un torneo. Oh. Yes, and and torneo and and my. Colonia, ¿cómo se dice? Neighborhood. Neighbor. 
neighborhood. 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 Mm, that's excellent. Well, Isabel, nice talking to you. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Let's see. Alma. Hello, Alma. Alma. Oh, she's busy. Let's see. Damaris. Hello, Damaris. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? I thought Damaris was going to be on the Black Friday by shopping. And... <laughs> no, it's a <laughs> I'm sorry? Aida, like on the shopping. Oh, Aida. Oh. <laughs> that explains. Interesting. Yeah, we're going to talk to Aida later, you know, about that situation. <laughs> Do you like shopping on this day? No shopping. ¿Le gusta ir de compras este día? I mean, for Black Friday? No, no like. No, me neither. Too much people. Much. Much people? Yeah, too much people. Demasiado. It gets crazy. Sí. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not good. I mean, I don't like it at all. <laughs> Everywhere is packed. Todos lugares está lleno. Sí. Y más en San Miguel. Oh, really? Sí. Oh, yeah, Antes... the, the carnival. Sí, ahorita está Fest como loco. The festivities. Está de choto, dice el alcalde. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I used to go, I used to go there with some friends. Like, something like a carnival, but in December. Sí. A few years ago. I mean, uh, some years ago. But, I mean, I could go to San Miguel just at night. <laughs> During the I day, like... I get I get scared of the of the heat. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Well, interesting. Damaris, uh, mm -hmm. tell me what's the plan for the weekend? What you gonna do this weekend? Um, my visit. Visit. Ah. Uh... A mi suegra, como diré. Oh, mother-in-law. Mother-in-law. This is my mother-in-law. Oh, really? Where, where does she live? ¿Dónde vive? En la Unión. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you go from San Miguel to la Unión. I mean, that's even hotter. Eso es más caliente. Sí, y más húmedo. So you sweat. Yeah. Nah. I don't like. It. Yeah, no, I understand you. I understand you, but I don't know why you got married. You see, that's the problem. Repeat. That's the problem of getting married. Hay un problema de casarse. No. Okay, okay, okay. Well, welcome, Damar. It's nice having you here. Thank you, sir. Carlos Elgardo, how are you, mister? How are you? Fine, teacher. You? Ah, you know, you know, here, home, working. Same old story as usual. Same old story as usual. Today is a lot of work. I'm tired. I'm sleeping. And um, only want to go to sleep. <laughs> but you only want to go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. But um, the class uh, they wake me up. Okay, okay. So in the weekend you rest. No, it is a problem. I have a meeting in the tomorrow and to make some work uh, uh Documentation. Sorry? It's a documentation that I have to do. So, 
uh, is uh, is a tedious word. Tedious. Tedious. Oh yeah, that. but Sunday. Um, Sunday. Uh, I I believe to sleep as uh as a middle day. <laughs> uh, until noon. Until noon. It. I forget this word. <laughs> until noon. Okay. Until noon. Well, that's that's yeah. a good. I mean. That's a good idea. That's a good plan. You plan <laughs> to sleep as much as possible. Oh, yes. Yeah. To do the the breath the no the breakfast, no, the sayuno comment. Breakfast. Breakfast. Breakfast and the lunch at the same time. <laughs> okay, breakfast and lunch. At the same time, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, whatever works for you, and if you enjoy it, you have fun. I mean, let's yeah. do it, right? Yeah. Well, excellent. Nice talking to you, Carlos, and welcome to the class. Nice to you, too. Okay, guys. I got one question for you. At what age should teenagers leave home? At what age should teenagers leave home? What do you think? What's your opinion? What's your idea? Okay. At what age should teenagers leave home? Then you explain to me why. Okay. First, at what age should teenagers leave home? And then you explain why. That's the question you are going to be discussing in the breakout rooms. Okay. The groups are ready. Let me check on something. Okay. And groups are open. Let's jump in.
En el, ah, en el WhatsApp. WhatsApp. En el grupo de WhatsApp. Bien. Aquí está. At what age show? Ah, ok. Yeah. At yeah. what? At the I obtain age. Age. year. Age show. Yeah. Show. Teen. Teenage. Teenagers. Live home. Okay. At eighteen years old. Okay. At eighteen. Eighteen. For me, years. it was necessary yeah. to leave the home. Oh. Uh, uh, why uh, they uh, are obedient? They uh, are. Uh, workers and study and have good uh, evaluations and for me oh. to me to go to home from home legal okay can can coffee can coffee that's an interesting oh. situation, right? Because in some countries, oh, I mean, like in the United States, um, a, a guy of 18, 19 years old, people expect them to, to go. Yes. yes. Here in El Salvador, no. No. Here, many, many uh, when children, when they uh, can live with her father, she will live with her life. When he dies, they like to take the event in the inheritance. Inheritance, yes. For me, the inheritance is a calculus error because if you uh, sobra, sobra, cuando uno le sobra dinero, when there's so many left, uh -huh. and this is error, it's a calculo error, because you, you must to uh, use it me. all before you die. I, you gotta use it better. Yeah. Así que, yo sí le digo a mis hijos, que no piensen que les dejo, les voy a dejar la casa, les digo. <laughs> okay. Excelling. Yeah, yeah, it's different. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I mean it's it's different. And as I tell you here, I mean some people even have their kids, even if they are married, they don't want them to live. Yeah. Mary. Mary. Okay, okay, okay. Or, okay. Let me go check the rest of the groups, okay? Okay. Okay.
see, we are waiting for everybody to come back. We are just waiting. Let's see, everybody's coming back in a couple of seconds. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 um. Berenice. Hi. Hi. Tell me, in your opinion, at what age should teenagers leave their parents' home? Well, in my opinion, in well, my case, I believe that the parents have the ability to provide emotional and monetary support to their children, uh, or to their sense that they are considered healthy. I personally, I don't consider a specific number for this stuff. Okay, so there's not a number for you. Yeah, uh, well. I you don't know this, but I bought my house when I when I was a teenager, and now I think that I will give the same opportunities to my son. Well, and add, I think that is a number, and not consider a specific number for this. Okay, interesting. Interesting point of view. Now let's go to the other side. Let's see, Oscar. What about you? What do you think? At what time? At what age should teenagers leave their parents' home? <laughs> And I I think at the 18 years old or when they can be the married or when they finish the studies or when they can be defend by self. Okay, okay. When they are responsible of themselves. Yes. When they are able to be responsible for themselves. Hmm. That's an interesting point of view. So not in a specific moment, but yes, in a specific situation. Yes, because this is the, the the opportunity in the life. But when when we marry, uh, we 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 can be responsibility. No, responsible. Responsible, responsible. Responsible. And when finish the, the studies, um, we make the open the doors for the opportunities. Or when do uh, when no married and no study, uh, we need to defend uh, self uh, self defend defend. Okay. For the life, uh, we need to work and help the the parents or buying a house. So the things we need. Mm, interesting. Well, thank you. Now, okay. let's, see, let's see, let's see. Ana Patricia, what about you? What's your opinion? At what age should teenagers leave their parents' home? In my opinion, in our culture, usually teenagers don't leave home. They live until they are Adults. Adults. If adults. Adults. If it's about becoming independent. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Rafael, hello, Rafael. How are you?
Hmm, perhaps Raphael is not available. Tell me, Carlos Luis. Hello. Hi, teacher. And in my opinion, two points mainly. I think that young that the adolescent should be prepared with the values on good education first because the opportunities of the life is not equal for all. Um two parents uh, exist parents that overprotect their overprotect their children. Um, in any cases, don't don't prepare your children for their the life. Children, their children. Their yeah. children for the life because the opportunities. That's que eh, the Jones live at home because necessity. Necessity. Um, okay. and others mm, have, digamos que tienen todo, pues hay otros que tienen todo. They have, they have, they have everything. Yeah, correct. They have everything for so for your health of parents. That is my opinion. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, guys. Let's see. I still got time. Carlos, what about you? What do you think? Uh, I think that uh, it is uh, can live in a home when uh, they have a a good uh, financial recourse and ha uh, a good work and taking your first uh, house and buy your first uh, car. And okay. then they can leave the house uh, that I have the, uh, I, I have a, I don't think in no bad can pass hers. Okay. Interesting. Okay. The Very responsibility is the first uh, they have to uh, have. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, guys. Well, thank you very much. I know that everybody did the practice, but I need to to move along. Okay, now, uh, as I told you, I was going to explain something. Uh, we're going to work with a little bit of grammar. The grammar is very easy, but there are certain concepts that I would like to explain. First, uh, in English, there's something that we call clauses. There's something that we call like this, clauses, okay? Oopsie. Give me one second. Just one second.
Okay. Let's do it this way. It's going to be better and it's going to be easier. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, we're gonna use the board. Okay. In English, we have something, well, we got a conditional sentence. Okay. The conditional sentences is a topic very interesting. Now, there are three types, uh, four types of conditional sentences. This time we are going to focus just in one. Okay, the conditional sentences are like the, there's the zero, zero, zero conditional, that's one. Then you have the first conditional, that is the present unreal, the second conditional, that is the, I'm sorry, the first conditional, that is the future possible, the second conditional is the present unreal, and the third conditional is the past unreal. Okay, now we are going to work with the zero conditional. Now, the zero conditional. First of all, we have to understand that the zero conditional expresses, it is used to express a general truth, okay? When we use the this, we are talking about general okay. Something that is true all the time. Something that is real all the time. Okay. Now this is very interesting. Because we are talking, as I told you, something that doesn't change, something that is always the same. Oops, I'm sorry, there was a typo here. Truth. Okay. We are talking about general truth, some things that are always the same. One example, like uh, if I tell you if, whoopsie. If I study, if I study a lot, I get good grades. Now, that's something that always happens. If I study a lot, I get good grades. I said that, uh, let's see, perhaps if uh, Oscar, if Oscar practices English, He improves fast. Okay. 
if he doesn't practice, he doesn't improve. But if he practices English, he improves fast. Now, this is the zero conditional. Now, it's very interesting for us to notice something, okay? When we talk about this, we have two sentences. Look, we got here the first sentence and then you have the second sentence, okay? Something that you need to remember is that for conditional sentences, you have two clauses. You got the if clause, okay? Uh, the if close that is also called conditional close and then you have the result close to have a conditional sentence any type of conditional sentence, you need to have those two clauses. But now, what is a clause? Okay? What is it? When we are talking about a clause, what are we talking about? Well, a clause is a dependent sentence. Okay? It's a sentence that always depends on another one in order to be clear or to be correct or to be perfect. So, the order of the clauses is something that can change. That's something that can change. But right now we are going to focus on this. Now, you see the if close, if the word if means C, but we are not like, it's not an affirmation. It's a condition, okay? If something happens, something else happens. Si esto pasa, lo otro pasa. Okay? Like if if Oscar practices English, okay, there's the condition. Then comes the result. He improves fast. This is the result. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. If you notice, I'm telling you, you have two clauses. Tenemos dos clauses. A condition, a result. Una condición, un resultado. In the zero conditional, the if close, because we are talking about zero conditional, the if close is in simple present and the result is also in simple present. So let's remember when we talk about the first conditional, in the first conditional, both clauses. are expressed in simple present tense, okay? In the first conditional, both clauses are expressed in simple present tense. Don't forget that. Because if you notice here, we have, if Oscar practices English, he improves fast. If I study a lot, I get good grades. Another variation that we have for the zero conditional is this, is that instead of using the word if, sometimes we can use the word when. 
look at example. When I study a lot, comma, I get, oopsie, sorry. I get good grades. And if you notice the idea, it's the same. We got the same idea. And if you are saying, if I study a lot, I get good grades. Actually, the idea is almost the same, no? Now, notice this. Something else that happens in the conditional sentences, as I told you before, is that you can change the order. Okay? What do we mean by changing the order? Ah, look at this sentence. I get good grades. If or when both applies. When I study or if I study a lot. Now, the only difference we have when we change the order of the structure is that if we start with the result close, you see the result close, there's no comma. The comma disappears. That's something that we must remember. You see, we have here, this is the conditional close. We have the conditional close, then we have the comma, and then we have the result close. That's the way in which we structure the sentences. Now, is there any question? Questions? Is it clear? As I told you, the conditional sentences are something very simple. And this condition is very simple because you are talking just about general truth, okay? Okay, 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 okay. Now, uh, do you want me to share it with you the 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 screenshot? Let me see if I can adapt it to the screen. Give me just one second. Okay, here we go, guys. I just shared with you the image. Okay, you got it now in the in the group. Okay, guys, now let's see. Let me share with you now from the manual. In the manual, there's a short explanation, but it's mostly focused on how do we apply it. Let's see, we got here in the manual, it says, okay, what do we do if we have very low assets? If we have low assets, we have to even up prices, or we have to even up prices if we, 
if we have low acid. If you notice, what we are doing here is just switching the position of the closest. In the case of when, where does your family go if they need a loan? When my family needs a loan, they go to the bank. My family goes to the bank when they need a loan. You see? Condition, resolve. Condition, consequence, result. It's the same. Now, guys, what we are going to do is complete the sentences using the words provided and the correct verb. Okay, this is very simple. Very simple, because if you remember, we are talking about the zero conditional. So both verbs must be in present. Just be careful with the subject, okay? Because depending on the subject is that you change the verb in simple present. Remember, you have to add S or ES at the verb, okay? Now let's go back to the breakout rooms. Let's do the exercise. I is I wake up later. I am be I am late for work. I no. If I late wake up, uh -huh. I am I be late for work. Eh, no, este, eh, eh, yes, the I am. part is wake if up. I wake up late, I am late mm -hmm. for work. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. I am late for work. If I wake, I late wake up. I wake up. I am. I am late for work. Okay. Chaplin. My son cooked the food in he. Born alone. My son burns the food if he cooks alone. Is uh, my son born? My son born. born okay. S at the end. Born cooks. 
the full is at the end. If he cook alone. Sí. Borm. Sí. My son Borm. The food is the, the cook alone. Cooks alone. If, if he cook alone, my son born Number three, if employees don't. Don't, don't eat. Don't eat. Number if employees if employees don't eat. If employees well, don't eat. Employees. Well, they don't are eat. Eating. Don't eat. Don't eat well. They are in. They. They are in. Healthy. Healthy. They are in healthy. Are in healthy. Ahí en aren't falta la coma C. Healthy. El apóstrofe y la T. Yes. Sale. Thank you. Okay. The four. When, when she, she pay, pay. When she pay her bills on time, she, she is in half to pay extra. When she pays. She her bill isn't her bill. It doesn't on time. She doesn't. She doesn't on time. Have to pay extra to pay to pay. She doesn't. Oh, she doesn't. Doesn't have it. Have. She yes, doesn't. of course. Yes, doesn't have. Doesn't. Doesn't have. Doesn't have to pay yes, extra. Mm -hmm. To pay extra. Um, No, R. R. If, if the incomes are, yes. I will, an employee the income, receives. The income receive, receives, but are, yes, at the end. Are good. Receive. Receive. And. And, oh. and employee you say employee receive a bonus okay receive ah receive 
Sí, receives. 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 A bonus. We sell more products. Finish, guys. Did you finish? No, teacher. Hurry up. No, teacher. Oh. Okay. Pero ya más o menos entendimos. In number one, if I wake up late, I am late for work. Number three, for example, if employees don't, because it's negative, do not eat well, they are not or aren't healthy. When she pays her bills on time, she doesn't have to pay extra money. You see? It's just simple present in the different ways, in the different forms of the simple present. Okay, let's see, everybody's here. Let's solve the exercise. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, in the first one. If I wake up, if I wake up late, if I wake up late, I am, I am late for work. I am late for work. Perfect. Next one, my son. If I wake up, 
born. 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 Remember the letter S. My son burns the food. If he. Cooks. 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 Remember the S. Why the S? Because Cooks. we are talking the third person. La S porque estamos hablando de la tercera persona en singular presente simple. If employees. Oh, this employee. is interesting. Don't eat. Don't. Don't eat. Yeah, because remember, it's negative, simple present. It's the auxiliary is do or does. In this case, done. Why? Because we are talking the plural. If employees. Okay. If employees. Employees. Okay, if employees don't eat well, they aren't. They aren't. They aren't. They aren't healthy. Now, when she. When she. Face. 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 When she pays her bill sometime, she doesn't have. She doesn't. Has. She doesn't. Okay, perfect. She doesn't. She doesn't do right. Oops. She doesn't have to pay extra. Okay, okay. Now the next one. In the in comment, are good. Okay, perfect. Okay. If the incomes are good because it's plural, right? If the incomes are good, an employee receives receives, receives mm -hmm. because we are talking about he or she, right? We we sell. We sell more products when we no. know the customer's needs. Check it out. Check it out. Okay. Customer. Okay. okay, now let me read the sentences for you. If I wake up late, I am late for work. My son burns the food if he cooks alone. If employees don't eat well, they aren't healthy. When she pays her bills on time, she doesn't have to pay extra money. If the incomes are good, an employee receives a bonus. We sell more products when we know well, we the know customer's need. Customer needs. Okay, I guess we got yeah. the idea, right? Is there any question, guys? No. No question, teacher. No question, teacher. Perfect. No question, teacher. Let's see, let's see. Let me just share with you the exercise solve. Okay. 
Okay. There you go. Okay, now next activity. You see, uh, the, the, the conditional, the zero conditional is something very, very simple, right? Nothing complex at all. It's a very easy topic. The topic is using the if, if uh, when? Yep. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're going to keep on talking about uh, teenagers and their parents, the family, the relationships, the gaps. The question we got us now is something a little bit different. The first one was related about what time, uh, what age should teenagers leave home? Now, we're going to talk about what do you think are some important things parents can do for teenagers? In your opinion, I mean, we as parents, well, in my case, I'm also a parent, we always try to do what's best, right? But in your opinion, what do you think are some important things parents can do for teenagers? What's important? What's special? What's like has to be there? Okay, that's what I want to know. Again, you go to work in the groups, you have just five minutes to discuss it, okay? I want at least three sentences, three ideas per group, okay? So groups are open. Let's go check the groups. Zero nueve seis cinco. Sacaban desbiche, hermano. What does it think are important? What do you think the important thing? El grupo de nosotros más callado. 
Let's see, let's see. Are you quiet? Why are you quiet, guys? ¿Cuál es, cuál es que cree que es tan importante es que los padres pichen? Yo quería enseñarles disciplina. Pitch the discipline. Teach the discipline. Pero cómo se escribe disciplina? Así, discipline. Yep, exactly like that. Discipline. 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 Okay. Um, ¿Cómo sería enseñarles a que se esfuercen? To teach them how to make an effort. Teach them how to make an, e an effort. Teach them. ¿Cómo es lo último? Teach effort, them. Effort. Effort. Uh, uh, effort. Efforts. Mm. Es que el problema es que nosotros le llamamos le llamamos buena educación, va. Oh, but that's Pero... values. Yeah. Ah. Teach. Yeah, you are talking about moral, moral values, values man. Yeah, values and manners. Moral values. Values. Moral values. Mm. Respetar el derecho ajeno. Oh, the concept of peace. respect. ¿Ah? Peace. La paz. Ajá. Eso, eso, eso es un principio bien fundamental. Porque aunque uno no esté de acuerdo, acepta a la otra persona tal cual es. Ma. Yes, of course. O el respeto, o enseñarle respeto, ¿eh? To teach them a que respeten, enseñarles a que respeten. To teach them respect. Come on, guys, you can use English. Come on, Oscar. <laughs> to teach. To teach to respect other people, uh, what other words can we use? Respect. In, instead of other people. The other. Older. To the other. Other people. Even. Uh, even they. Don't be. Um, don't be de acuerdo. Oh, even they they don't be don't be de acuerdo teacher in an agreement in a in an in a the agreement in an agreement in an agreement. Agreement. In no. an agreement. Okay. Mm. Uh, 
Fine. We have five answers, teacher. Okay, perfect, excellent. Let's bring everybody back. Okay, guys, 60 seconds, 60 seconds. Okay, let's see, let's see. Carlos, tell me, tell me, what are some things that parents should teach their their kids, their offspring? Uh, sorry, teacher, your question for me? Yes, oh. Carlos, Carlos Luis, I'm sorry. Okay. I wasn't and, expecting my brother. <laughs> um, three opinions. Uh, if parents give education to their children, they will be respectful. Respect, uh, respectful. Re respectful. Correct. And when parents give confidence, teenagers are more confident in talking about their problems. And the more the more important, um, if give love, receive love. Okay, interesting. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Now let's see, Ana Patricia. What's your opinion? In my opinion, when parents are understanding with teenagers and give them confidence. Teenagers don't hide things for them. Give them confidence is very important. Okay. Hmm. Now, what about you, Oscar? What do you think? Oh, um, I I seen that could it be they teach the Christian principle, teach the discipline, principles, 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 principles uh, teach the discipline, teach then earth effort. Uh, teach more values, moral values, no. principles. Principles. Uh, okay. Okay. Principles. So the um, uh, all, all we do with love. Okay. Everything with that pinch of love. Excellent. Thank you. Yes. Berenice, what about you? What's your opinion? What should parents teach their kids? 
What are some things that are very important for parents to teach their kids, their offspring? I think provide them with emotional support and be present in their primary studies. It is important to make to them know their duties and rights to be a good people in the society. But let them know that their actions have consequences. Okay. Mm, very consistent. Thank you. <laughs> I try to do the better. <laughs> the best. The best. Okay. 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 Now let's see who else is around. Who else is around? Uh, 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 uh. Gabriela Janet, what's your opinion? Okay, perhaps she's busy. Isabel, what about you? What are some things that you think parents should teach their kids? Hello, teacher. Um my opinion is parents have education to their children they will be res respectful okay to so bring them an education to educate them and they be respectful okay excellent excellent Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, now, this question is a little bit different. Do you think, guys, that kids nowadays have an easier life than kids before? Like when we were kids? What's your opinion? Let's see. Carlos, Edgardo, tell me, what do you think? Your opinion. Do kids nowadays have an easier life than the ones we had back in the days? I think it's true. Because Why? Because it's the um, a stronger men create in situation groups. And situation groups create a um, commons, uh kids and then don't have to preoccupate for uh, the the same reasons that we need to know uh, work uh, traveling to the, the one point to walk to other point uh, the security uh today the security is the best in the world here in the in in our country, and well, I I believe the life is easy for for her. Okay, thank you. Okay. Now let's see, let's see. Berenice, how old are you? I have twenty six years old. I am twenty six. Okay, yeah. well. You're young, but I mean, you're not a, a teenager. So tell me, do you think kids nowadays have it easier than when you were a kid? Well, now, how many more accessible than uh, our technology? I think that are uh, becoming part of the everyday in the life. And I think that it's more accessible. Uh, mm, how many things? Okay, technology. So, in your opinion, technology facilitates things for yeah. kids nowadays. It's more easy. Okay, perfect. Perfect. It's easier. Okay, perfect. Thank you, guys. Oh, my gosh. 
Whenever we start talking and touching this type of topic, I lose track of time. It's time already. It's 10. Awesome. Okay, guys, let me get the, the, the attendance. Before getting the attendance, please don't forget the platform. That's for Monday. So if you can do it this weekend, I will be very grateful. I will be checking on on Sunday. Uh, let's see. Please don't forget to be on Monday's class because we have to take the... Hey, Freddy. We have to take the... the, the, the uh, what do you call it? Um, the survey. La encuesta. Remember, we do that together. So be here, be on time, be early because we take it at that time. And let's see. Let's see. Let me get the attendance. That's it. Uh, okay. Aida Eugenia Ramirez Chavez. Alma Shamilet Hernández de Vázquez. Present teacher. Ana Leslie Sánchez Grande. Ana Patricia Meléndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Present teacher. Carlos Luis Guzmán Yelamo. Present teacher. Thank you. Damari, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino, did I mention? Yes, right. Carlos Luis Guzmán Yelamo, Damaris Lisset Guevara Herrera. Present. I'm sorry that I'm cross checking, estoy cruzando la, <laughs> la lista, okay? Uh, Elías Alberto Cortés Salas. Evelyn Yajaira Martínez Rivera. Freddy Enrique Vázquez Solorzano. Present. Thank you, Freddy. Hey, I believe you are in the carnival. No, he was chopping. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gabriela Janet Pozo Peña. Present teacher. Uh, Gabriela Lisa Hernández Cruz. Fernanda Cruz. Present teacher. José Valentín Flores Rodríguez. Juan José Cornejo Urias. María Isabel Rivas Guevara. Present teacher. Marina Leticia Rolín Jiménez. Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Present teacher. Marta Berenice Cervellón Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Estera Ayala Díaz. Present teacher. Melba Lorena Martínez Martínez. Miguel Ángel Rodríguez García. Present teacher. Oscar Edgardo Guidos Burgos. Present teacher. <ríe> Oscar, se olvidó de Rafael nosotros. An Rafael Antonio Chica Samaya. Sally Carolina Morán de Cabrera. Sandra Karina Gal Vez Galdames and Saul Alvarez Pacheco. Present teacher. Talking? Thank you, Saul. Alguien me hablaba? No? no? Okay, guys. If not, enjoy your weekend. Please finish the platform and see you <laughs> Monday. Have a good weekend. Teacher, teacher. No me mencionó, teacher. Yes, I did. Melba Lorena Martínez Martínez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Melba. Have a good one. Take care. Be good. Enjoy. Okay.
teacher. Yes, yes, Oscar. Don't worry, don't worry. I stay here. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Have a good night. See you Monday. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night group. Good night. good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, teacher, the homework 10. Homework 10. Homework 10. Yes. Okay. In the part four. Homework 10 is number, let's see. Part four. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Homework 10, part four. Okay, let me see. Let me show you. Part four, number four, item two. This is homework 10. Tarea 10 es esta. Sí, pero dice más adelante está eh, la parte cuatro. Okay, no, you are talking about this is look, meal yes. term exam, meal term. You see? Um, okay. Medio curso. Ah, okay. Uh, in this, in this, 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 the eight and two. I write. We wouldn't like to stay. We wouldn't like to stay. We wouldn't like to stay in this place. Yeah. I write this. Okay, hold on. I wrote this. Give me one second. What could happen is that the sometimes what happens is the the, the apostrophe doesn't get it correctly. Let's do something. Okay, look. Can you see it? Can you we would then like to stay in this place. I write this the same. Can you copy and paste it? Um, mm, mm, mm. Um, I can't do that. No. Mejor aquí. Aquí, 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 vamos a ver. In the WhatsApp group, I send the picture teacher. Yes, 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 yes. But I, what I want you, lo que yo necesito que haga usted es que copie y pegue tal y cual se lo estoy mandando. Ah, ok, entonces espéreme, vamos a ver. We wouldn't, we wouldn't like to stay in this place. Así lo he escrito, teacher. Copy, paste, copie y péguelo. Okay, pero, uh, we will then... Because the answer I'm giving you, la respuesta que yo le estoy dando es la que la plataforma identifica como correcta. Este, lo que pasa es que lo estoy viendo en el teléfono y lo tra estoy trabajando en la computadora, pero es exactamente, lo he escrito exactamente así como usted lo ha escrito, eh, pro teacher, Entonces, y no me da paso. Porque eh, eh, eh. I wouldn't like to stay in this place.
y me he estado quebrando la cabeza porque no, no pasa. Yes, but as I tell you, Oscar, let me share it again. Vale, le voy a compartir de nuevo para que vea. It's this, right? Okay. Vea cómo está escrito. Bueno, este... Can you see it? Lo logra ah. ver. We wouldn't like to stay in this place. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. The problem is that it asked me to do something. Me pide que haga algo. No la voy a contestar correcta. Simplemente estoy marcando para que me deje enviar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. We will then. Es que así lo he escrito, teacher. Dame un segundo nada más. Hold on, just one second. Give me just one second, one second, one second. One second. Okay. Porque estamos en el midterm, ¿verdad? Parte 4. Sí. Ah, okay. Hold on, solo dame un segundo. Ok, quítale el punto final. Hágalos en el punto final. Vamos a ver. Ok, se fue. Hoy sí. Sí, <ríe> que me he quebrado la cabeza, Tiche. Le he dado vuelta como no tiene idea. Pero y no, no hallaba qué hacer. Porque como tenía punto en arriba, dije yo tiene que tener punto ahí. Bueno, sería todo, teacher. Mañana le envío lo demás. Perfect, excellent. Let me know. Ok. Gracias. Thank you. Thanks to you. Have a nice night. Same to you. Have a good night. God bless you. Likewise.